Hey, what's happening to you guys? Extreme Pass Sonic here. Today we are gonna be talking about pretty much Naruto the series in general because I'm sure everyone here by now has already read chapter 690. The Naruto Soul has finally beaten Kagura. It's over. The war has been won. Peace shall now reign forever. Blah blah blah. You know all the good stuff. But um, yeah, I have a little theory I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm not the type of person that does theories, but um, I've been thinking about it for a while and I was like, hmm, let me just think about it now. Let me just clarify some things now. I reread the chapters and some people were speculating that um, the reason why the Hagoromos um, resummoned all the past Hokages was because he needed to create some jutsu that will happen in the next chapter, but um, it's not correct really. What's that? They used that jutsu not just to summon Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, and Sakura, but also they needed enough power to summon all the nine tailed bees back into the real world. So um, that's that clarifies for some people. And then um, another thing is that Kagura is trapped in a different dimension. It's like the moon isn't on the real earth apparently. I think from that point on. Kago is now permanently stuck in an alternative dimension, so like nobody can ever go there and revive her ever again. Unless Sasuke goes evil and just uses his eye and teleports somehow, but that, that will be explained in a different story. For now, what's gonna happen in Naruto 691 and onwards? And then um, here's what I think is gonna happen. It's just, a, it's just a theory, nothing to take seriously, but that's what Naruto, um, being a fan of the anime, it's all about. You create theories and stuff like that. So yeah, this is gonna happen. Naruto, Sakura, Kakashi, they're all gonna relax in the next chapter, chilling, talking about blah blah blah, the usual stuff. Obviously they're gonna try and take everyone out from the um, Infinite Tsukuyomi because you know, as we all know, these guys are still trapped in the Infinite Tsukuyomi. So um, yeah, probably um, they're gonna tr take them out using all the power from the um, past Hokages, blah blah blah. After that's done, I think, what's gonna open up is gonna be a plot twist. I mean, like, right now it needs a plot twist because I can't see um, the Naruto world going to an internal peace. Like, an internal peace cannot actually exist, to be greedy with you guys. There's always gonna be strife, there's always gonna be war in some sort of level, so it's, it's gonna need some kind of plot twist. And here's what I'm thinking, I'm thinking like Orochimaru. Like, nothing has changed the road to Marvel. Like, I don't care what he's saying about, oh, I'm the windmill and I want to watch this new wind spin me. Okay, that's so strong. But, Orochimaru is still evil, and I believe that when everyone is purely distracted, he's gonna steal Madara's body. And then, when he takes Madara's bodies away, like, stuff, probably he's gonna unsummon the first Okage, second Okage, third Okage, fourth Okage. He's gonna on seal the seal or whatever he's gonna do then once he does that he's gonna take Madara's body while everyone's weakened from all the battling that's been happening and he's gonna disappear and that might be the opening another opening chance to a new Naruto arc where um, you know we get to see Naruto all grown up well not technically all grown up but you know mature a little bit that's my theory on it, so um, yeah, tell me what you guys think about it. It's just a theory, it's nothing to take seriously, but I just want to show this out there. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about it. If you have a theory of your own, let me know in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation, this is something different, you know, yeah, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.